Greetings. We begin with the end in mind. Today we are setting out to check on a solar installation and to stop by the desert test grounds. These are my favorite sorts of days. I am by nature a traveler, so it is most enjoyable for me to have my servant Peter drive me around Earth. I am learning so much about your planet. I have been trying to decide how long I should stay on Earth. Since there are no other inhabited planets in your system, there is not much else for me to research. Most of my work will have to be here on Earth, until you humans begin colonizing other moons and planets. I was originally thinking I would spend about 100,000 years here on Earth. That would be long enough for me to really understand the human species. And if I did that, I think I would be comfortable going off to a few other star systems, spending a few million years traveling. And then I could look back around to your star system once it's a little better developed. We'll see how things go. A lot will depend on how things go with you humans during the next 50 or so years. You're still in a pretty precarious position, I guess, in terms of survival versus extinction. Up here at the desert test grounds, a lot of good stuff is happening. We are only a few weeks away from the first rains, so plans have been finalized for planting seeds. Very exciting. We have to use human technology, but I'm still optimistic. It will be wonderful to watch this area transform into a forest over the next 30 or 40 years. Heading back to the city. One very interesting thing I've been learning about as Peter and I work on these solar installations is permitting. You humans set up all sorts of strange political structures. For example, to build a building, you have to go to a special building and get a permit. I guess so that the building is built correctly? This means that sometimes humans build buildings incorrectly? Is this on purpose? Why would a species build a building incorrectly? Please explain. Humans.